Okay, welcome back to Let's Play NES Remix Pinball Time. These stages are all luck as far as I'm concerned. Getting the rainbow stars is luck. Getting a high score is luck. There's um, a, a 1,000 point bonus up there. I guess the, uh, the trick to this one is to just try and get up to the bonus. Like, there's a way to, um, just make the, make the ball dance up there and constantly rack up 1,000 points over and over again. Oh, jeez, this is going to be terrible. Get into the 1,000 marker, please. I never really liked this game. Uh, I, I don't hate pinball or even video pinball. But the physics in this game are pretty much... They're awful. They're terrible. You can't really expect much from NES pinball. But there's also only one table, which is kind of lame. Is this going to be... Come on, come on. There we go. 5,000 points. It works, I guess. Stage two. Turn two cards face up. Okay, well there are the cards right there. Basically got to use the awful physics of pinball to get up there somehow. Is there anyone out there who can actually play this game like accurately? I'd really like to know how to play this. Uh, not that I'm gonna put the effort into anything. But some hey 8.8 .8. new record, no new record here. Next level. Okay, this one's actually interesting and cool because it's more of a. Or never mind. I thought I was actually going to do some gameplay here. Okay, this is the one where the actual gameplay takes place. This is uh. I like this a whole lot better than the standard pinball. This is kind of like a, a, a breakout or Arkanoid game or a one-player version of Pong, which, believe it or not, was a pretty popular game back in the 70s. But it's not very popular now. I mean, ask a Call of Duty crowd. I'll ask these Call of Duty kids. Kids who play Call of Duty and Minecraft and, um... And, uh, Steam the game. Ask them if they want to play Pong. They will laugh in your face. And then they'll shave your eyebrows off, so watch out for that. Triple Rainbow Stars? Not a new record, but I did get the rainbow, so... Skittles. Oh, this is awful. You have to go to the 1,000 point section. If you don't make it, it's like, too bad, you fail. This is pure randomness. Like, there is, as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, there is no way to do this accurately. Oh, jeez, thank God I did that on my second try. That could have been bad. And look, notice how I didn't get the rainbow stars. Yeah, I'm not doing that one again. <laughs> Next. Oh, invisible flippers. This uh, seems like it would be difficult, but it really isn't since you don't really need to see the flippers. I mean, you know where they are. And uh, they're right there. They're not going anywhere. They don't move. Not doing anything interesting, exciting, important. They're just... They just happen to be, uh, invisible. And the score looks pretty daunting as well, but they start you off with 100,000 points anyway, so... It's not like, uh, it's, impos it's an impossible task. It's basically a repeat of that get 5,000 point challenge. Come on, there you go. And that is another pinball level done. Got me a perfect. Last one. Last pinball stage. For now, anyway. Oh, this is awful. It's always awful, isn't it? I need to get the ball into that 
uh, like, area over there, I may struggle with this quite a bit. It's possible to get it in there, in the little ramp. Uh, it might be easier to do with the left flipper, but it's definitely possible with the right. Uh, but it's not, uh... It's not fun because I actually have to play this game. The thing about NES Remix is that I notice it pretty much forces you to get good at every single game uh, in the collection, whether you like it or not. But with games like this, there is no getting good at this. At least, I don't think there is. There might be a way to do this instantly. I think, like, the way the ball is set up, like, they have... They line up the ball for you to make the shot, but it's not, uh... I can never... I can never do it, like, immediately. I, I just have to play and hope that I get inside the ramp. I'm a big fan of, uh, Pinball FX2 on the Xbox 360, although I think it's also on PS3 and a bunch of other devices as well. Those are those are fun pinball uh, tables. They got like a Plants vs. Zombies table, they got a Miss Explosion Man table, tons of Marvel tables, some Star Wars stuff. This, on the other hand, is uh, not very thrilling. And I'm going to have to actually do this, so uh, this is not something... This is not something I'm enjoying. This is also not something I like seeing. I like, when I play a game, when I record a game, I like to play it as efficiently as possible. So when I end up like somewhere right here where there really isn't anything you can do except fail and try to luck out. Go in there! Hmm. This sucks. But I'm not gonna give up. Can't give up. And unfortunately, yeah, you do have to, uh... You have to do it on the, on the left side. If you get the ball up... past the 500 point marker you can't you can't like scoot the ball it up to the left because there's like a big locked door there or something okay let's make the seals dance this will be my probably my last serious attempt before i start editing oh god that would have been sweet if i would have made it right there oh man Because I'm running out of things to say about this, and nobody wants to watch me fail at pin- Wow! Points! Extra point! Bonus! Total much? Maybe. Okay, this is my, gonna be my last serious attempt before I start editing. Oh, so close. Come on. I really have nothing else to say about this pinball game. Oh, and there you go. Wow, that didn't, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. But it still took way longer than I wanted it to. But I did get the rainbow stars. And did I get a new record? No, screw you. Okay, next time... Oh geez, it's golf. Probably the most boring game on this entire collection. See you next time.